Every two weeks, Josh Rambo makes a cross-country trek to work at a construction site in southern British Columbia. He lives in North Sydney on Cape Breton Island. Now his commute is going to get even longer because he'll have to drive to Halifax to catch a flight. What used to be a 20-minute drive is now a four-and-a-half-hour drive, and that's in ideal conditions. Now, uh, in the winter, that could take five hours, six hours. Today, Air Canada says it is grounding all flights to and from Sydney and St. John, New Brunswick, meaning there will be no commercial air service at all. It is also reducing flights across Atlantic Canada. The airline says it is increasingly difficult to operate without specific financial support from government. All of the Atlantic provinces require visitors to isolate for two weeks. This region has done a good job defending themselves through very tight restrictions, also left us vulnerable for air service cuts. This is the third major round of cuts to air service for the region in the last six months. It is a massive blow that reaches far beyond the airports themselves. Having access and accessibility to and from our island is incredibly important, not only for our continued sustainability of our island, but the growth of our economy. Airports are hopeful the distribution of vaccines will restore consumer confidence in air travel. Josh Rambo says not making it to work is just not an option. If that means added costs for me, uh, less time with my family, or uh, driving in dangerous conditions, then that's, that's just what I have to do. He can only hope that grounded flights are back in the air soon. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.